Hi, it's Linda. I, this is just a little clip that I'm putting in before um, I created the video, so it'll be like two intros. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I am affiliate for Calling Canvas Designs, and I will have the link below. Joy has been a one, wonderful person to work with. These are two customs I'm going to share with you. So I, I do want to say I am an affiliate, so I do have an affiliate link, and I if you do decide to go check out her website and order, I'd appreciate if you use it, but of course you don't have to. Um, but there's also a Diamonds for Linda coupon code that you can use, and she also has lots of sales. I'm just really impressed with her customer service, um, the sales that she has for such good quality canvases. Now I do admit that I haven't worked on one, and this one that I have right here, I plan on kitting up and working on for March. So, but just from seeing other reviews and me having this is these two will make seven common canvas designs that I have. So, and because they are just really good quality. But again, um, I haven't worked on one, and that's that's my goal with this one is to to work on it for all for you all. So I just wanted to put that in in the beginning that I am an affiliate, and all the information will be below. So enjoy the video. Thank you. Bye. Hi diamond painting friends, it's Linda with Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today I have an unboxing for you and it's from Calming Canvas Designs. And these are two customs that I'm really excited about. I'm not sure if I'm gonna share them both in one video, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so um, the process was really easy. I went to the website, uploaded the image, let them know. Uh, I just gave a little bit of information and then Joy emailed me and um, gave me, I, I don't know how long after she emailed me, but um, cause there was a lot going on at that time. So she emailed me and then, so basically from the time she emailed me showing me the sizes and what they would look like and everything. Oh, I didn't bring my calendar. Um, I think that was on the 11th and then I paid, actually paid for them on the 16th. We made the final decisions and round and squares and all that kind of stuff. You could choose A, Bs and things like that. And then I got it today, which is February 29th. So it was about five or six weeks total, but the, but it was also like the whole Chinese lunar, not lunar, I don't, Chinese New Year or something like that, where they, where they go on their like what, month long, three weeks, I'm not sure. On vacation so it was during that time um so anyway let's go ahead and get into it so this is the box that it came in it has this thick bag and then it was in this box so it's double boxed and it was they were really i don't even know how they well i guess they maybe they made the box around it because there's like this seam or whatever but i could not get it out i had to go to my son because i pushed I pushed it a little bit out from one side and then so it was peeking out but I still couldn't get it out so I pushed it some more and it was like probably a fourth way out and then so finally I just took it to my son and I held on one side and then he pulled it out <laughs> so so yeah and Joy was um really easy to work with she's really sweet I feel like I made a friend and um I really I really um yeah go visit her website she has a lot of Lots of diamond paintings. These are actually, I think these are my total of seven I got from her. And uh, so I can't wait to work on one because I haven't worked on one to like really give you guys a review and all that. So I will be working on one of these. I will be kidding one up soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and move these out of the way. So this one, so this one is really special to me because I got this custom of my sister. It's one of my favorite pictures of her. I'm actually probably going to send in one more picture and and then um yeah we'll we'll be done with having my sister's photos so here is the image and this is a 60 by 80. I didn't choose any ABs or anything like that on both of these um I just don't think they needed them so let me go ahead and open this one so I am actually going to kit this one up this is I posted on today's Thursday I'm gonna to try to get this video up on Friday I posted today Thursday that I am going to be putting my astronomer away um, pretty soon and going to kit up two other diamond paintings well this is one of them I don't think I'm gonna do a kit up video because I want to get this kitted up probably today or tomorrow 
or sometime by the end of next week so I don't know and then it's kind of hard for me to do like those oh, I'm trying to get trying to not um, destroy the plastic uh, it's hard for me to get those the like whipping chats and kid up and chat videos because I do all that in the living room our house is small it's like um, 900 and it's a little bit over 900 square feet so our house is small and um, it's just sometimes when I want to kid up it's not a good time to film that's why I do most of my unboxings in here in the bedroom so anyway so this is how it looks when you open it it has uh, this washi which I love this washi because it's like the perfect width to um, for the border when there's a little bit of overflow of the glue um, I don't like the real thick ones I mean I use them but I prefer these ones because it's just like the right size to cover the glue and then you get your kit so you have your your uh, diamond painting pen you have I think that's a three placer you have two comfort grips and a single placer you have two pads of wax oh look at there's a cover reminder in there let's get that out and then you have your tweezers which are sharp so you want to put on the little cover and you have your mosfa tray but let's go ahead and look at the little cute oh and then there's like a little brush you could brush your drills off I think that's new. I don't remember getting that in my other kits. Oh, it's a little cloud. It's a little rain cloud. Hey, that's kind of like, maybe I should use that with this one. <laughs> and the magnets are nice. I love these thicker magnets. Okay, so let's get this out. So this is square, so it's going to have like that negative effect and which means it's, I don't think it's going to be all in color. So you have your little baggies. You can either kit up or kit down with these or just use them for extra um, drills. And these are, they look like that. They, look, they feel like they're nice baggies. I usually kit up in a container. In fact, actually, I probably should, I'm kind of running out of, of containers to kit up in. So I think I'm going to need to buy something. I need to just get my whips done. Okay, so let's get go ahead and get the paperwork out. And then I'm going to flip it. This is poured glue, so you can um, roll it back. I wouldn't do it on adhesive. I don't have any adhesive, so I've never had one. So the canvas is really nice. It has this, um, it's like... I don't want to say it's felt but it's like it's nice and then it has the scalloped and poked so that way it helps reduce fraying and we have our diamonds which go all over the place let's get those over here and then before i unroll all that i just wanted to share with you that there is some release paper i love I love that they do send release release paper because I do use it. And this is a good size if you work in this size or you can also cut them to whatever size that you like. Okay, so let's go ahead and unroll this. Oh, I can't wait to do this. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. I'm going to try not to cry. I didn't think I would because I'm, yeah, but anyway, let me just get through this. So this is, um, it has the Common Canvas Design logo here at the bottom. And then you have your legend over here. And we'll look at the symbols. This is 53 colors. I didn't know how many colors was going to come in here. And then it says Crafting Serenity One Diamond at a Time. And I named this one Wish You Were Here. So that you were able to name it says wish you were here because I do wish she was here and I like that it has like this border I think all the the call I mean I've unboxed so many you think I would remember but have this color and I really like the color of it so here is the original image of my sister and again this is 53 colors I didn't get any specials I just didn't think it needed it and there's gonna be, there's a lot of color blocking. I'm interested to see how the, her skin tone comes out. So 
Um, I wonder if I should start it going that way, although going this way might be easier just on my table. And I feel like I get Rose done. But I would like to go that way to start on her. Isn't she beautiful? So it looks like there's a lot of color blocking. Um, and then when you get to the face, there is the confetti, confetti up here. But there's color blocking over here. Whoops, I'm sorry, you guys don't even, maybe I should zoom out a little bit. I always forget which way. Oh, okay, let me go over that. So there's confetti here on her face, her hair. Um, and there's a lot of color blocking in the back over here. It looks like over here in the clouds you get some confetti. Here's like a pier right here. And then this is water. So I wonder if that's going to be interesting to see how that comes out. Let's see, like these, this sign is... Looks like it's like a white, so maybe that's like, it does have like a reflection coming off of it. So, and it, it, it is, um, so another thing is the, the picture I sent, um, was one that had been, you know, passed through like emails a few times. So I don't think, I don't know if it's like called JPEG or whatever. It wasn't. A very big um so we'll see how all that works out with with me not sending the best um digital file to them so but i think it came out wonderful for what i did send so we'll have to see so that would play into it too because again the file that i sent was was kind of small and i was a little bit worried about that but here's the thumbnail and so yeah i'm gonna work on this you guys Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I don't know if I want to wait on the next one because the next photo I have is also kind of like a small, um, let me put this up. I didn't know that was the edge of the bed. It was also a small, um, it's going to be a small file. So I wonder how this, that's why I kind of want to work on our face to see how that works up. But I, I want to work this way. So I don't know. Maybe I'll come this way and work on work on this one first so anyway that is this one and I think we have time so I'm just going to go ahead and show them both and if I get cut off because you know how I have all those memory oh we can look at the drills so these are all resin drills whether you choose round or square and this one's a square the next one's going to be a round because it's large and I figured it'd be okay but here's the color palette oh that's that's probably her sweater so here's the color palette Oh, yeah, I'm really excited about this one, you guys. So this has, if you do end up um, separating your drills, uh, I usually put all mine together, but if uh, but if I do separate them by accident, it looks like this. Um, this does this. I'm sure this matches somewhere on here, although I'm not seeing it. So you might want to be careful with that. But it does say 60 by 80, so at least if I accidentally mix them up right now while opening the other one, I will know which one it goes to. But I'm going to put these over here. Oh, and this is a sticker sheet, and they are individually cut, which I really like. And I love the mat because when you write on this, it's just um, a lot easier for me anyway. Okay, so let's see my next one. My next one is pretty big. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one. So I saw this image. This is an image of Jesus. I saw this come through on my Instagram feed and I loved it. There's actually one of him that was a little bit different. It was one of him laughing and I just loved it. But I wasn't sure how the rendering would come out with all the shadows and stuff. So there was another one, which is this one that I really liked too. And so what I did was I went, I bought the, di the digital print, which it said you could make into like cards, um, other things too so I made mine into a diamond painting but oh this plastic and I probably won't work on this one I'm not sure if I'll get to it this year although I really want to it's on my to-do list for this year I didn't want to get get his face but isn't that isn't that just um I love that just the happy I know there are times when Jesus got angry 
But I just love that one of him smiling. So again, you get another, there's another tool kit, little brush and everything. Oh, look at, there's a banana. I like that one. I have the strawberry, I have a kiwi one, and now I have a banana. And those are gonna be random. So this one I got, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, that was, that was strange. <clears throat> so this one I got in a round because it's so big and I thought, I'm, I, I think it'll be okay in a round. This is a 80 by 100 centimeters. And this one has 56 colors. It has a little bit more than my, my sister. So again, we're going to go ahead. And these will flatten out on their own. But just to make it quicker, we are going to go ahead and roll this back. I'm sure these would be hard to actually crease, but I feel like I'm going to crease it. Okay, so let's just go like this. Let's get all the papers out. This is a big one, but I just wanted to render nice because um, because it, it's Jesus, and I really just fell in love with the picture. There's three bags of drills. You get your washi tape and your baggies. <clears throat> Okay. So my son is starting, oh, I should have brought his stickers. My son is starting to sell stickers. He bought some equipment to make stickers and stuff. And I'll show, I'll show the stickers in a different video. But I'm going to put his little Etsy shop because um, he only has a few stickers on there. I'm just going to mention, mention that for him. Um, so he just got started. But I'll give more information on that on another day. So, oh my goodness, this is huge. So this one is around, and let me see. I'm gonna kind of go up a little bit. Oh, oh, my my stand wants to fall. I'm just gonna go like that, and then I'll kind of hopefully that stays. So this one's around, and down right here, there's a lot of color blocking, which I'm thankful for. Over here, it's more confetti. And like, so like this is all color blocking and then you switch right here and then there's color blocking again. So let's just go, oh, I guess I should show you the photo. So this is the photo and I did, this, this one's gonna be a, um, just a, a lot of um, mattish colors or I don't wanna say dark, um, muted, um, what's that word for when you have a lot of, browns and creams and oranges and things like that oh so let's see oh here it is so this is called radiant savior i did have them put the the artist on here artist is chris brazelton and again i found him on instagram and then i think he was I think he has his own website. I probably should have asked to put that there too, but I will find it and link it below. I don't remember if this one was Etsy or his website. So yeah, so I'm interested to see how this one comes out because it has, let me see, let me go ahead and bring it down a little bit because it has this shadowing. So um, I, that, that's why I chose this one because there was another one it had more shadowing. I wasn't sure how all that would render. I did, because I did purchase the, the file, I did send them a good file. It wasn't like the one with my sister um, because they send you files so you can make different size prints. Um, and so yeah, so I'm a little bit concerned just because I'm scared of like skin tone rendering. Um, I haven't worked on like, like real skin tones. So, but we'll see. I'll share, just see, let you know how it all came out. So again, this is an 80 by 100. Oh my goodness, this is gonna take me a little while, but it's gonna be so beautiful when it's done. And again, I didn't get any special drills on this one. There's a thumbnail over here. And I forgot to check the plastic for you all. So the plastic is nice. It's nice thick oh. and there is like the overflow of the glue right here. So I think that's, 
I like this because of the size is just perfect. And I, this actually matches. So I think when I do this one, I'm actually going to put the glue all the way around. Normally I, I just kind of piece my pieces together. I'm not like a perfectionist or, um, and it doesn't have to be like super perfect for me. I'm okay if they, they look all put together. Oh yeah, let's look at the symbols. I didn't even look on the, at the symbols on the other one. And then we're almost done. So this is how it's gonna come out or supposed to. And again, this is a round. So these are the symbols. Let me take my glasses off. Um, so I like the little flower. Let's see, I don't see anything too major. I do wish the numbers were up at the top, like next to the two. Not to, and let's see, try not to make you dizzy. I think for the most part, they look okay. Oh no, I gotta sneeze. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. Well, let's go ahead and look at the drills. So this one's going to have, is, is that like called a muted palette? I'm not sure. It's not pastels, it's not super colorful. But isn't that pretty? I love all the browns and I love all these colors. I know some people don't like working with a lot of browns and dark colors, but. And these again are resin drills. They're square and their rounds are both resin. Let's just go ahead. I don't wanna take them all out, but. Let's see. Here they are. Give you a little close up. So that is my two customs. I'm really excited about both of them. I know I'll be kidding up my sister for sure. The Jesus one I might work on, although I really wanna to get to his face and that's gonna take a long time, no matter what side I start on. <laughs> But I think it's gonna come out really nice. So this symbol right here is kind of like an X. Let me see, I wonder if that's it. I can't see what this, I don't wanna put my head so close. Let me just see, let me bring it up. Take my glasses off when I bring it up. So that symbol is an X and like the hourglass shape. Let's see what colors those are really quick so X and the hourglass shape and I'll finish up let's see here X and an hourglass shape there's the X so it's like this brown right here I'm hoping it's not too dark X and the hourglass shape Let's see here. Oh, here's the hourglass shape. But sometimes these are a little bit different from, from the shade over here. And I don't, I don't think these are in any order. So I don't know which, where it would be in here to actually look at it. Cause it's going to be DMC 3772. And I don't, the 3774. I don't think they are in order. Three, seven, one, two. I'd be interested to see. Um, three, seven, seven, two. I don't think we're gonna be able to find it. There's so many colors in here. So if you haven't checked out Common Canvas Design, um, I encourage you to. She has great prices, she has great sales, and in my description I also have a it's an affiliate link, and I believe it's Diamonds for Linda. If you put that in, you get 10% off your order. You can use that as many times as you like. Her shipping is really great. It's five dollars shipping at least right now at the time of this video, and I think that's that's um, her her standard. And um, yeah, she's just a real joy to work with. So please go check her out. I probably should have said all that at the beginning. 
but um yeah so y'all have a great day and i oh if you're here to the end why don't we put um why don't we just put a diamond um emoji or whatever just just to as a custom diamond painting so thank you so much for watching and i really appreciate you all watching to the very end it's much appreciated i will see you in my next video and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video bye